I'm just loading up Webcam Max and I just want to show you a few things. Now this is Liz. Say hi to Liz. Say hello Liz. No, no, seriously, I want you to actually wave at the screen and say hello Liz. And she's saying hello, hello back. Right, and if you notice, what I noticed about this is look at the lovely cool shading on her face. Look at that. Let me move this out of the way. And if you rotate the bones, see the way, oh she don't, oh my god, she looks like she's had an accident. See the way the shadows uh, adjust as you rotate her face, that's pretty cool. And uh, somebody was asking me about this, uh, some grey bloke was asking me uh, how, how you do this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sh basically show you and I'm going to show him as well. So let's uh, create a head. Woohoo! So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a sphere. There you go. And what's great about Anime Studio is you can actually adjust the uh, line width. Makes it a bit more interesting rather than having one uniform line which is cool and let's uh let's uh sort of like adjust the curvature on this have him sort of like tapered makes the shape of the head more interesting okay and then what we're going to do we're going to go over to our style and we're going to pick a skin tone skin uh, png and it's got these lovely uh skin tones you got there so here we go, let's uh, pick a skin tone for him, that one will do, no actually let's make it a bit more light, let's make it a bit lighter, I don't know if that's lighter, but anyway, there's there's the basic head, and what we're going to call, we're going to call this layer, head, always name your layers, because then you, you know what you, you, you can, uh, you can play about with them and stuff, so let's create another uh, vector layer, and let's call that, uh, ears. Okay, let, now let's uh, create the ears. We're gonna. I'm just gonna use the um, point to point tool. And we go like this: dink, 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 dink. See? And basically, it selects the uh, last color I was using. And what's great about this as well, you can also hide edges. So let's hide that edge so it blends in with that. Blends in with the head, and let's adjust the curvature on it so it's less angular. There we go. Makes it more of an ear shape. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a line uh, just using our freehand tool. I'm using actually I'm actually using a uh, Wacom tablet. And I'm also using a mouse, and let's say we can adjust the uh, the width, and then we just move the points over here. Okay, so we want him to have two ears, obviously. So we go Control C, Control V, that duplicates the ear, and then what we're going to do, we're going to move it over ear, and let's uh, flip it as well. So there you go. So there we've got a basic character, the basic head with ears and stuff. Okay, so uh, what else do we need? We need some eyes, E Y E S, eyes. Not only is this a tutorial on Anime Studio, it's also a spelling lesson. So there you go. Now you know how to spell eyes. And let's uh, select white for his eyes. And here we go. Just keep it very basic. Basic eye. Put that there. And as I say, you can adjust the width. Let's have it like that. Then we go Control C, Control C, Control V, and then we move the eye over here, and we flip it like so. Okay. So there we go. We've got a basic head with eyes, and also what we need to do is we need to give this guy some pupils. So let's give him some pupils, and then we select like so. So there we go. We've given him a nose. Okay. <clears throat> now, the whole thing about this is we want to give him some shading. So let's go back to the head. We select the head, and then we go over to here. Effect number one. And we go shaded. 
Now, th this is a, a this is something that was uh, on other ver earlier versions of Anime Studio, but it's something that I've just uh, picked up on. So, okay, there we go. See the, the sh see the shadow there. It's very dark though, isn't it? So, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the shadow color and we're going to knock down the alpha, so the shadow is more subtle. Okay. Okay, so we do that again. So we select that, go to here, go to the alpha, knock that down. Okay. So you get like a subtle shadow. And then what we can do, we can apply this shadow to the ears. So we select the ears, and then we use the pipette, and we take the properties of the head, and we can put them to the ears. Okay. So select that ear. So there you go, we've got shadows. But we want to adjust the shadows on the ears. So I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to adjust the shadows. Uh, I want the, the shadow to be on this side. And I'm going to knock it down some because it's a smaller object. There we go, like that. See, so it's just just subtle, very subtle, very subtle. And uh, then we'll do the same with this ear. So see, so basically, see this area here? I wanted it to match up with that. I didn't want the shadow to be here because then you'd see that edge. Okay, so that gives him a bit of a three dimension. I'll tell you what we could do, which would be quite interesting, is uh, below the eyes, let's give him some shading below the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a vector image here and we're going to call this uh, eye shads, eye shads, eye, and we're going to put that below the eyes. And then we just create a circle underneath here. And let's uh, select all the edges and let's um, hide that edge, hide that edge, hide that edge, hide that edge, okay? And let's adjust the uh, shadow where it's uh, the direction of it is. We're going to have it so it's underneath his eyes and let's knock the shadows back up to the offset to about 12. Okay, and then what we'll do, just tweak this. Tweak the shadow there. And what we'll do, we'll select this, Control C, Control V. <coughs> so there you go, you've given him some uh, shading. Makes him a bit more three D. Gives him more of a three dimensional shape to him. <clears throat> and what we'll do now is, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll create a bone layer, and let's uh, start putting all these shapes in the bone layer. So we've got the head in there, and let's create two bones. Okay, let's create some bones. Create a little bone here, which is the parent, and then let's put a bone here which will be the head. And then I like to go bones, region binding. Let's just see the values of it. There you go. When I rotate this head, see how the shadows... stay at the bottom, stay where they're positioned. Isn't that cool? So we go, dude. Dude, dude. And let's do a quick render of that. There you go. And it just it just adds more to your character. If and um, you know, because if you've just got a plain colour, it can look a bit boring. But there you go. So I've just created that head. So I hope this tutorial's been useful to you. Um, please um, check out um, Anime Studio at uh, www.smithmicro.com. Check them out. Okay, thank you very much. My name's been Oxy, and uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please rate and uh, subscribe to the channel if you if you like this tutorial. I ho hopefully we'll be doing more tutorials, and uh, yeah, that's it really.
Thank you very much.